What is up, guys? It is your boy PZB, and today we'll be talking about the fact that Canada and Iran will no longer be playing each other in the World Cup preparation match as Canada has cancelled that game. You have heard me cancelled it completely. Now, before we get into that, let's just make sure that we are subscribed to this YouTube channel and we hit the like button. We're going to go for a fresh five likes on this next video. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. So we already know that the game got canceled. The reason you guys are here is why they canceled the game. Now, this is why they canceled the game. Because of uh, not just, in, just Justin Trudeau, but also it was politically motivated, meaning that politics and football got mixed once again to cause this to happen. But again, a year ago, 176 innocent people, including many Canadians, were killed when Iran shot down a Flight 752. And... This is what has caused this controversy because, of course, Iran's coming to Canada to play. And it would have been the same if Canada was going to Iran. They wouldn't have been happy with us sending our players there. And because of that, it got the game canceled. But looking further into it, so this is what Rick Westhead had to say about the game before Canada soccer got canceled on June 5th. Iran national team players were refusing to play in the game. I don't know which players were refusing to play in the game, but obviously some didn't feel comfortable playing, which again, I feel like is a little weird, but hey, I can't do anything about it. That is up to the players. But another thing that I find uh, pretty interesting about this is that Canada was actually going to pay Iran uh, for the World Cup qualifying match. And obviously, if you're hosting, you're going to pay the other team. But now Iran want compensation for that. So the Iran deputy minister is seeking 10 mil from Canada because of the fact that they won't play the game anymore. And now that's just too much money. They were supposed to give, let's see, they were pretty sure it said that they were supposed to give 400,000 for the game. And now they're seeking 10 mil. Like, yo, you actually got to be crazy. Because to be honest, I don't understand where you're getting this number of 10 million in penalties for. But right here, yeah. So the head of the Iran team said that Canada would be paying them $400,000 for the game. And now they want 10 mil. That's bullshit. Come on, Canada, we're not giving these guys 10 mil. I'm sorry, that's just not happening. Canada received more than 3 million federal funding this fiscal year. The government says none of the money went towards the match. So again, even more controversy. Um, some stuff about Ukraine doesn't really matter. But uh, yeah, so this uh, 10 mil stuff, out the window. We're, we're not giving no 10, 10 mil to Iran, never. Another thing that was getting people a little pissed off and people were complaining about was the fact that Canada and Iran was not the only games to be played by Iran in Canada, as Iran was to play Ecuador in a friendly, which both teams are actually catching heat by FIFA either way. But that is to be played in Canada, which is a game that has not been officially cancelled yet. Only the Canada-Iran game, which is, again, political mixing with football causing to get the worst out of the situation. Now, the most important part of why this is important is the fact that Canada will not be able to reschedule another game to prepare for the World Cup. And Iran was a perfect fixture to get Canada ready for the World Cup. Obviously, there will be another international break before the World Cup for even more preparation time. But this was a very important one as a lot of the Canadian team is actually very healthy at the moment. As Alfonso Davies will be back in the team. Stefan Estakio will be back in the team. And this game will be very important, especially because Iran is very good competition. So now, if we're looking at the FIFA World Ranking, Iran sits at 20 on the world ranking not to mention at the last world cup they were able to almost make it out the group with a group with spain and portugal that has ronaldo playing in it and they were almost able to sneak out of that group so iran would be very good competition to prepare canada for the world cup who is sitting all the way down at 38th in the world rankings so about almost a 17 team gap between the two nations but that is the kind of quality of a team you need to be playing against if you want to prepare for your first world cup in 36 years so since canada will no longer be playing iran the two games we do have in this international break are versus the kuraikros islands i don't even know who those guys are but again they're not really competition they're a glorified training we will wipe the floor with them with at least seven or eight goals and then Honduras, who are not the team they used to be. They were in the 2010s uh, World Cup, and they were in the group with Spain, who ended up winning the World Cup. But again, they're nowhere near that side. In the Octagon, we absolutely slapped them on their way to the World Cup qualifiers. So I don't even know uh, why we would even consider this, again, as proper practice for the World Cup. But those are the only two games we'll get to play this, uh, what's it called, international break. Unfortunate, but hey, we'll have to make the most of it with the Iran game out. There is nothing we can do about it. Not to mention, this will also hurt the Iran national team as they get set to play United States as their opening match in the World Cup 2022. And 
with Canada being able to slap the U.S. 2-0 the last time we played. If Iran were able to play good enough and get a 1-0 loss to Canada, that technically would mean they would have done better than U.S., which would have been enough practice for them to go and play them in the World Cup. Now, that battle is going to be heated. Again, politically motivated game. Whoever loses that game, internet's going crazy. But with that being said, hurts us more than them. Now, when I'm looking at the Canadian group, we will do our predictions in our next Canada video. But with Belgium, Morocco, and Croatia in our group, if you look at their rankings on the FIFA men's uh on the FIFA men's world ranking, when we look at Belgium, Belgium is second place. So we will be playing the second place team in the world right now. And then the next one is Croatia, which is 16th. Again, five away from Iran. So very good competition and preparation with Iran. And then Morocco. Look at that, 24-3 away from Iran. Iran would have been the perfect uh, qualifying game for us to play right around the region of the two teams we need to beat. Five lower than the first team we will have to beat, Croatia, and uh, three above the next team that we will have to beat if we want to uh, exit the groups as Morocco will be standing in at that 24th position. Now, Canada, not too far back. I, we were at 37, but uh, with the loss at the end of our uh, octagonal for World Cup qualifiers, we dropped down to 38. Not too bad. Just one behind Cameroon, who will also be at the World Cup. But we are definitely not the lowest-seeded team, which is great to see. So, with that being said, thank you so much for watching my video and staying all the way to the end. I very appreciate it if you would take the time to leave a comment down on what are your thoughts on this whole situation. And, again, your predictions for Canada at the next World Cup. Again, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to this video, hit the notification button, and let's try to get five likes on this video. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a nice, wonderful rest of your day.